We have reporters standing by to bring you the latest NRL news. First to Taylor Haynes in Penrith. Tay, the Panthers' grand final Thank you parade very much. is about to begin. Absolutely, Clint. We are acting like we've already won the grand final, aren't we, Panthers fans? <laughs> Let's find out who's going to the grand final. Are you going tonight? Yes. Are you excited? Who are you going with? Um, I'm going with my dad and my nan. Oh, you're so excited. Do you reckon they'll win? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes, we're going to win, aren't we? Yeah. Have a look at this. We are gearing up for a massive uh, convoy parade that are going to roam the streets of Penrith at 10 a.m. Thousands of people are flocking the streets right now. We've got huge super fans. We've got Nathan Cleary's uh, signature on this lady's arm. But a massive celebrity has flown into Penrith. Mr. Bean! Yeah. Mr. Bean! Oh, my goodness. Are you a Panthers fan? Oh, that's right, he doesn't talk. Okay, let's... Oh, Melissa, how are you? This is your community, and look at the fans. They're just the best fans in rugby league. We've got the best team in the country, and we have the best community in the yeah! country, too! Can't wait to make it four in a row tonight. Absolutely. Now, Panthers can be the first team in 58 years to win four consecutive grand finals. Let's ask the fans what player is going to carry the team tonight. Which player do we think? Dylan Edwards. Dylan Edwards? Brian Toto. Okay, Brian Toto. What about you guys? Uh, Dylan Edwards. Oh. Liam Martin. Fisher Harris, last day in Pampas. Oh, yeah. He's going to carry it. Let's go, Fisher. Yeah. All right, let's cheer everyone. Yeah. Melbourne, good luck, Lara Bella. Get the tears and, and the tissues ready, my friend, because we are ready <laughs> for a four peat on our hands. Tay Tay shots fired no there. Way. Let's go to Lara Vella now, who is also at Olympic Park. Lara, more Storm fans are rolling in where Come you are. Come on, fire up, Lara. Guys, the only side that'll need the tissues today is going to be the Penrith Panthers because the Storm are going to be mopping the floor with you, aren't we, guys? Yeah. So you can see we've got some of our most die-hard Storm supporters down here, including our <laughs> loudest and also our youngest supporters. We've got Cora on the pom-poms. Give us a little shake of the pom-poms down the yeah. camera there. We've got her big brother, nine-year-old Keegan, with the most amazing mullet I think I've ever yeah. seen. Nanny and Poppy have also been watching this morning. We've also got Grace and her husband, Brad. They've come all the way from Tarnit in Victoria. What would it mean to you guys to take home the grand final tonight? Oh, it's been such a good year and I think the guys are just being playing awesome and it would just be the icing on the cake. It would just be just recognition of just what the boys have actually done this year and how hard they have worked. Now, Grace, if your makeup and your hair doesn't already tell viewers at home just how much of a diehard supporter you are, check out these ankles that we've got going on down here, guys, and the shoes. Look at that. We've got the Storm tattoo, and you said you're going to make room for what down there on the ankle? That would be the 20 and the 24. And what about on the other side? Who have you got there on Mr. that Bo one? Jangles Mr. With Bo my, Jangles. Mr. Bojangles with his Storm jumper on. So what sort of game do you think it's going to be tonight? Is it going to be a tight game, or do you think Storm are just going to wipe the floor with the Panthers? I think it will be a very tight game up until, I reckon, 20 minutes into the second half, and we will womp it. We will kick in and leave them behind, and away we will go. So we know all of Victoria are going to be getting behind the Melbourne Storm tonight. So, guys, well, one final time, who's going to win? Storm! Storm! That's right, Lara. This morning, guys. Go the storm. Come on, Storm. Now, um, Sophie Walsh has been telling me all morning how much she's on this Penrith bandwagon. That tattoo looked brilliant. Maybe if Penrith win, you should get one on your ankle. Little panther. Are you going to hold me to that? Yeah. That'd be great on you, Sophie. <laughs> Look, that'd be perfect yes. on you. Get one. And Army Chefs is right now preparing a feast for tonight's grand final. Yeah, if from burgers to pies, it is a huge operation to yeah. feed the hungry masses. More than 80,000 people are going to be cramming into a call stadium. At Lara Vella, today correspondent, has all of the preps going on right now. Hey, Lara. A very good morning to you guys once again. You have know, spent the morning with the Storm fans outside the Pullman Hotel and now we are whipping up a storm here in the kitchen. I'm joined by Dwayne Goodman, the Chief Operating Officer for the Gemma Group here at Accor Stadium. Dwayne, take me through all the preparations behind the scenes that go to putting together feeding 80,000 fans today. Yeah, months in the making. Um, the guys have been at it for weeks and weeks on end. Pretty much we do State of Origin and then it's straight into Grand Final and... Um, uh, anything from ordering logistics, deliveries, prepping food. Um, it's been, uh, been weeks and weeks and months in the making. We can hear Craig in the background, the chef, 
on the cranker with the lavosh. Take us through what's on the menu today. What can fans expect to be gobbling down? Yeah, we've got a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, so on our uh, in our GA areas, there's plenty of brands to come and enjoy with sushi and oak berry and rolls and uh, aljana. Um, and then moving into our members and our corporate areas, um, enjoy some food from Alasil. Uh, and then Craig's whipping up a, a beautiful corporate menu for everybody um, uh, right throughout the building. I can smell the garlic from here yeah. already, Dwayne. What's the biggest challenge in pulling off something like this today at an event of this size? It's, it's a mathematical equation, logistical nightmare. So uh, about 10,000 hours have gone into preparation in the last two weeks for, for getting us here. Uh, we've got 120 chefs in the building today, 1,700 staff. Um, Biggest challenge, make sure everybody turns up on time and the food's hot and the beer's cold and we're good to go. What are you going to be ordering today? What's on the menu for you? Uh, I'll probably go with a burger today, I think. Yeah, <laughs> burger and bet. chips, safe bet. And tell me, you know, you said Craig, for example, one of the chefs here, he's been working here for more than 20 years. Tell me about how proud you are of the team that are working behind the scenes. We have some of the best in the business. We're super, super lucky. Um, as you said, Craig's been here for a long time and knows, uh, knows all the ins and outs. And um, uh, right through from any of the, the kitchen hands through to the bar staff, um, we've got some of the best staff in the business. We're really, really lucky. All right, let's get down to business. Who are you going for, Dwayne? Who do you think is going to take out the grand final today? Uh, I'm, uh, we'll back the storm today. You're going to back the storm? Yeah. Yes. OK, there you go, guys. You heard it here first. Go the storm. Well, whether you missed out on a ticket or you just want to get a piece of the action, there is plenty going on right now around the country for today's NRL Grand Final Clash. Yeah, one pub that's really getting into the spirit of game day is the Peachtree Hotel in Panther Heartland, Penrith. Uh, we are joined by the pub's general manager, Coralie Brunson. Coralie, nice to see you. Look, it is early, but it appears the party is already getting Ooh. started where you are. <laughs> it certainly is. It's been a fantastic week of celebration already here. Five straight grand finals for the mighty Penny Panthers and the celebrations will continue well into the early hours tomorrow morning. So what have you got planned in uh, Penny Panther territory there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, we'll have a fantastic crowd. It'll start to build from about midday today. People will come and get their prime, prime seating. Uh, plenty of seats to go around. The beers will be flowing and it'll just be a fantastic day. Uh, Carly, you'd like to think that they are the favourites going into this. They are chasing a four-peat. Uh, what has the atmosphere been like around town in the build-up to today's big day? Oh, like every other year, the, the, the town's been buzzing. People of Penrith are uh, up and about. They're just a really dream. Everyone's really embracing it. Local business all behind it. And everyone just can't help but buy into the Panthers. Good stuff. And, um, I mean, do you get nervous? Uh, very nervous. Always nervous. I was about our first one. It's great final. It's no bracket. Everyone's laughing, I so I assume you are very, very nervous there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's your message to anyone who wants to come down and watch uh, the game at the Peachtree Hotel? Yeah, guys, look, the Peachtree is a place to be. We, you can come and watch any viewing all across the venue. More than 20 TVs will have the, the Panthers playing live and loud. We've got a play area for the kids, an outdoor bar, indoor bars, great food, great service and plenty of cold wow. beer. <laughs> That's a pitch and a half. Is that an inflatable Nathan Cleary I can see behind you? <laughs> yep. But some of the faithfuls, yep. some of the regs here. <laughs> <laughs> They're all yeah. ready. Ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Coralie. Enjoy the day and go Storm, hey? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Go the just like. <laughs> Go the Panthers. That's right. Just like the Petrie Hotel, there are plenty of venues playing the NRL Grand Final live in both teams' hometowns. In Melbourne, the Transport Hotel, Provincial Hotel and the London Tavern. And in Sydney, PJ O'Brien's the Red Cow Inn in Penrith and the Australian Arms Hotel also in Penrith, just to name a few. And of course, the NRL Grand Final is live, free and exclusive right here on Nine and Nine Now. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?